Hey guys, today is day 92 on my journey to 2000, and we're going to play a game. But before we get into the game, uh, Tanner, one of you guys, told me about the copycat variation. So I looked into it. The links will be in the description for how I studied it. And so I kind of studied it. And you'll see uh, I'm going to have it on the screen right now, kind of going through it. I couldn't share it to my desktop. I went over it on the mobile phone app. But anyway... It basically starts like this, just like a Vienna normally starts. Vienna starts with this knight move, for those that don't know. And when people move their knight out here, you could go into the Vienna gambit, pushing the knight backwards and kind of getting a really nice head start into the position. You have to be careful of checks and stuff, but that's the basic idea. A lot of times you'll castle and put uh, pressure on the F file. Okay. But... At this rating, I'm like rated 1667 right now. At this rating, a lot of people develop this knight. And just from seeing computer moves, I see the bishop comes here, bishop comes here. Just kind of normal developing moves. Uh, still putting pressure on that F pawn. But the copycat variation is when you bring your queen out to G4. And that... Was it G4? Yeah, g4. <laughs> and the idea is to attack this pawn, and black has a lot of different ways to respond. So one way black can respond is bringing the pawn forward. I don't remember all the variations. There's a, many of them. Um, but if they do that, you can um, kind of threaten checkmate right here. You can develop, and a lot of times it, you have to be careful of any kind of threats. This is a great move to prevent the knight from coming in and attacking your queen with the bishop also here. Uh, you, you have to be careful of those types of ideas. So that is one way to respond, but most of the variations kind of follow this line of the queen coming here and, and putting pressure here. Obviously, it looks pretty bad. Well, apparently, you could come here with the knight attacking the queen, and here black has uh, several options. Well, really, they only have one option, maybe one or two other options. One is... Coming here with the check, uh, you just sidestep it, or I'm sorry, you, you, you go right behind it, because there are no discovered attacks, you take it with check, you take the queen with check. No discovered checks, really, I should say. So that doesn't really work, you still have to worry about your queen. Um, queen g7 to try to trade is an option, but even here it's probably just winning, because you're going to get the bishop, right? So you could simplify it in that way. So the more obvious move is taking with the queen. Here you sidestep, and there's a lot of ways black can respond. Black can respond this way, attacking the queen, in which case you take this pawn, you're threatening to take the rook, and soon you're going to kind of do some stuff to kind of limit the damage over here. So for example, if the knight comes forward, you can... I, I, I don't think I looked at lines of this, but you always have this like fork idea here, and in some lines you could actually trap the queen. Um... So I think the best move is for the king to actually defend the pawn here. And here you can attack the queen. Now there are things that, you know, like counterattacks that are possible, but you could kind of sidestep them. And you even have like a chance at some checkmate uh, ideas here. But assuming he doesn't counter thread and he just kind of runs away with the queen, you could kind of set up this trap. And if white isn't careful, if white just, I don't know, it wouldn't make sense, but if white just kind of pushes a pawn or something, this traps the queen. The queen would have to take the bishop and then die, <laughs> right? So the knight helps here and all of this stuff. So obviously opponents would, you know, maybe attack the queen this way. You could just sidestep it to the side, uh, takes, um, and uh, the, the rook move is also vital because when the knight is gone, the rook move... Uh, stops any annoying ideas here. Uh, the video I watched also mentioned how the pawn could push forward at a certain point. And here... I'm sorry. After this, 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 you actually have to be very careful. If you take the rook here, you can come in with this annoying check. You can block. And here the bishop provides support. So it's, you know... But after this castle, you bring the rook to, to, to protect the knight, and you have to be a bit careful. And you could see the, the elo bar kind of agrees, which is why after this pawn move, you could kind of take this rook later. If it moves, you're going to take the knight with check. 
So, you know, there's that too. So after this pawn move, what you can do is actually go h3 to stop the bishop from coming in. For those wondering why the bishop just doesn't come in right away, you just lose the bishop. There's a lot of cool ideas in this opening. I don't know most of them. <laughs> I was just going through that. And uh, we'll see. We'll see if we get a Vienna game now. If not, then... Okay, well, we're, we're playing as white, so it's a possibility. Okay, and we get into the Sicilian. Okay. Um, typically, the knight comes out. The knight hasn't came out yet, which allows me to bring the bishop with check. I don't know if it's a great move, but it seems decent. Uh, the idea being, if the bishop comes, the knight can come in to protect. If takes, takes. I don't think the knight here on its own really can do much. Um, we're just... We could also just play this. This check doesn't do anything because of this bishop move, so... Let's just do that. We'll play it as if he put the knight here. Maybe it'll just transpose into that. And the Sicilian, you essentially... You generally... Yeah, you generally take there. We don't take with the queen because then the knight uh, gains tempo attacking. Yeah, this is this is pretty normal stuff. It's just there is no knight here, which is a little weird. I feel like maybe we could have taken advantage of it. I've never seen anyone play like this, really. Um, but, I mean, another option is just to play it safe. Maybe his, he's hoping to bring the knight here, which is a possibility. Definitely a possibility. Um, I kind of want to bring the bishop here. Every time I overthink the games, I, I lose on time. So let's just play a little faster. You know, the first couple of moves won't be so vital. <laughs> he could attack right away. We could bring this here. Uh, losing that knight isn't the best, I feel like. Sometimes I thought it was okay, but it's a little tricky. We have this move. Uh, we have castling. We have the bishop coming here. Takes. Um, we have the bishop coming here. Takes. Here. He gets out of the way. Here attacking. Takes. Takes with check. Blocks. Takes, takes. That doesn't really make sense. I thought maybe we could sack something. Obviously this move would be very nice. But it doesn't really work. So um, let's just play solidly. Let's just castle. Let's just castle. He has this move. We'll just kick out his knight. So we can come here. Let's let him take it. Oh, I messed up. The knight isn't protected now. Um, but that's okay. We're gonna come here. It allows this, of course, which is a little annoying. But then we're gonna come here attacking the queen. He can fee and kettle. Okay, he doesn't let us attack. Um, so we're just down a pawn. Just stupid. We have this move, which is always something to prevent the Fian Kedwood stuff from happening. But then we lose this knight. So we have to be careful here. Uh, let's go for this move, going backwards. It looks funny, but it stops the queen from taking our knight after trading bishops. We also have some uh, kind of annoying threats for him to deal with. We might even go to a draw here. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really like this position. I, maybe it's okay, but... Yeah, I'll take the draw. Jeez, I don't think we've had a draw in this series. 90.1% accuracy, Jesus, okay. I probably had a better option there, but my opponent was playing a bit fast. So Okay, so this was a brilliant move, stacking the pawn here. Okay, so I played this beautifully. Oh my god, the knight move worked? The knight move actually worked? I, I had a feeling it did, but I, I couldn't see the reason... I couldn't see the reason why it worked. That is crazy! It works because you could fork winning the king. You could probably have some discovered attack on the queen, possibly even trapping it. Let's say he just ignored it and came here. We could obviously win the king, so I think my opponent would see that. Let's say he came here to stop me from winning the, the, you know. Or better yet, brought it here, right? Let's say that happens. Then what? 
Can we do this? Takes this. E5 takes. C7. Oh, then I get a discovered attack. A discovered check, rather. And I win the queen. Wow. Of course, it's not game over after that, but... Jeez, I should have seen that. His position is so closed off here. I really should have seen that. Like, let's say he came here. Then, you know, he has that escape square. And we have d4. Ooh! The knight supports so much. You see, I knew in the Sicilian, the knight has so much that it could do on the left side of the board. I didn't recognize this insane type of, like, ideas that are here. And here, it says if you go here, you have here attacking the queen. You just, yeah, it really is a poisoned pawn, right? And here you break open, because if he takes, you come here attacking, everything is protected. If he comes here, there's probably some discovered attacks here, right? There has to be. Double check! Double check. I gotta play faster games. I gotta play faster games. What if we come here now? With the idea of he takes, probably have some checkmate pattern here. Could bring the rooks in. Wow. This is a crazy game. There was an error classifying. Okay. Wow. Wow. And that's mate. Look at that. That's literally mate. Jesus. Wow. Chess is crazy. So I did have a brilliant move allowing him to take that pawn. And bringing the bishop there made sense. I knew that the bishop move, bishop e3, made sense because... Or I thought it was good because uh, typically when they fee in keto, that's, that's kind of the idea. And obviously I could go for trading. But that's typically not too good. So that's just insane that I could have sacked this, this knight. Wow. Just to bring another knight. Crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. Let's say he tries to get away. Get super away. Wow, th this would be a close game. Here we're threatening this. We're coming here. Uh, but we're not protecting the pawn anymore. D7 is a, is a move. Wow. So we could be down a piece and still... um. Threatening some crazy stuff. Does b6 to protect the knight? I don't know. Let's say he fianchettos and plays softly. We can come here. No way. This is a trade. But we could come here. I uh, just keep threatening. e5. I, I hope this is not too boring for you guys. Because this is super crazy to me. This threatens mate. But then you come in with the check. Or you come in with this check, and he, he, if he doesn't take, then you have some discovered shite you could do, probably. Wow. Wow, the king can't even move. And, and now you're winning, material-wise, too. Crazy. Maybe I should have calculated that more. Um, we're going to play... We're going to play another game, because that was a quick game, and that was just a draw. Yeah, we, we don't have a chance at the Vienna, but uh, if he goes the Queen's Gambit, we have this. Okay. Just a quick attack over here, I believe. So we are going to... I'm just going to develop here. I, I don't think there's anything crazy yet. Okay, so the Bishop wants to come here. Um, We're going to develop our Knight. Bring the Bishop a little passively here. Okay, the knight's going to come here, possibly. I need to learn about where you sack the pawn, like one of the best gambits. I forgot the name. I need to learn about that. What is this called? Starting position. <laughs> That's the name of this opening. Starting position. Um, Let's bring the bishop out. Now, he could attack and just attack like crazy. But we're going to castle short anyway. Oh, this is not really a threat into our position. I really expected this move. Okay, so the queen wants to come out and, and pile up some pressure. So we're going to bring 
a pawn here because the queen protects the rook. We can take a bishop if it comes in. Um, interesting. He he really wants to come here. Boom, 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 boom. How can I make this position better for me? I can bring the knight, but then it would just be a simple trade, and he could probably just kick me out. Uh, I probably want to make my last kind of piece active. The only thing about this is I'm committing the bishop here, and the protection of the king is a little bit um, a little bit uh, tricky. There's also this queen move, um, but then I could come here. It's it's a little bit tricky. It's definitely tricky. I like this idea to get this bishop off my back, though. Okay, knight can come into the middle of the position, obviously. So he's putting more and more pressure in this area of the board, obviously. Now, I can come here. If he brings the knight, I can take. He can take. I can take. He can... He can... No. Yeah, well, he can't really check. <gasps> I think that makes sense. So here, 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 here. He might not even exchange per se here 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 i like that i think it was a good idea to get my other bishop my dark sword bishop into the game Ugh. we can't take with the knight or else we get forked for those wondering we take with the bishop this is not a threat um yeah now we bring the knight here Oh, let's not get our knight trapped. That's a thing that I happen to do quite often. I think we could actually redirect it into a check if he doesn't trade. So if he pushes, for example, we could come here. If he tries to push here, we can come here with the check. Now, he could come forward. So we do have to be a little bit careful. I'm thinking, okay, so that makes sense. He just gets rid of the ideas completely. Now I can't check because he has too many pieces guarding there. Um, I think we're losing just because his pawn movement is better. We do have this check, which is interesting. But with this pawn here, it doesn't really work. He just blocks and we can't... Well, actually, it just doesn't work because he just blocks. Uh, another idea is bringing the bishop, letting it die, checking... Here. That looks so freaking cool. But I don't think it does anything. Huh. Another option is to play passively and just bring it back, and we have two targets on this. That looks like it makes a lot of sense to me. The only problem is his knight gets into the position. But this pawn is kind of blocking his bishop right now, so it's kind of helping us. Um, we could take, take, attack, since the queen helps support. He could take, take, take with check. That looks a little bit worrying. Because after this, he has the, the queen has eyes on this. Uh, we could also push, take, I don't like that. I think playing passively might be best, actually. Yeah, I think playing passively might be best. I, I could be completely wrong, though. A lot of times I make passive moves. I feel like they're mistakes. Now, his king is not safe if we could kind of solve all of our issues. We could castle, but this looks like this move might be better. <laughs> Also, this move, again, it just opens up his bishop. I don't know if I really want to do that. Maybe taking with this knight is slightly better. This pawn is really helping us out. I wonder if b6 is a good move just to stop the knight from coming in. Like, just to completely stop it from coming in. Oh, I'm getting cold. <sighs> okay, making our opponent think. That's good. What is he going to do? Our opponent is probably going to move our knight, uh, his knight somewhere. He wants to probably position his queen better. Okay. That makes sense. Um, except we now have this check as a possibility, forcing him to move his king. Now, just because we have a check, it doesn't mean it's a good move. Another reason is because he could just block with the bishop, <laughs> which I almost missed, and then we would have two hanging pieces. And that 
Now, maybe we could come back here, lose the bishop, and come in with a check. And harass his king, but I don't see how that works. So I think we're just forced to push this back, to be honest. We're just going to do that. Again, this doesn't work because of this. Yeah. Um, we're just going to push the pawn. Make a little hole for our bishop. Okay. Now, we do have bishop f5. Forward takes, takes, takes. I think bishop f5 works. He might go bishop g2, but then rook g1 looks good too. Ugh. Another idea is to just close off this position completely with h5, which I actually don't mind that much. Kind of like that. He has the bishop pair, though, so we that's a kind of another reason why we don't want to open up the position. We don't have any way to get in now, but... Now taking might be worth it. Now we want to take with this pawn so his knight doesn't have an opportunity to come in. Taking with this pawn, uh, this knight I mean, and then we have this idea of checking, but again the queen kind of doesn't let us do that. Uh, I don't think he expected that move. <sighs> He's rated 1709. Sheesh! <laughs> okay. Okay, going for this trade. Um, now I think this knight move is definitely good. Uh, doing it this way. Because if he takes, we have this. And he has nothing, so let's take. That just looks really good. And we just take here, you see? We opened up his bishop, but we're attacking it. And he can't really take this. Now we do have full control of the center. We could push this pawn. If forward takes, takes, I don't know, I'm not sure. He'll have three pawns, but we'll have the center pawn. No, we'll just have this pawn. Maybe pushing this pawn forward is a good idea. Maybe preventing the knight from coming in, but this move is, a, is an idea. Um, maybe this move is, is, is good. This is, this is tricky. This is very tricky. My opponent is definitely highly rated for a good reason. Um... Now, we could take this pawn, then he takes, I take, he takes, we come in with check and pick up the rook. That actually looks really good. <laughs> oh, I guess he saw that. Yeah, we're just going to come back. This is not a threat. Aha, uh -huh, I see. Smart, smart, smarty pants. Uh, taking that pawn gave me too many holes. Maybe we should have gotten more aggressive with this move. If we come here and he takes, takes, takes. Um, I honestly think he can't do anything on this side right now. I really tempted to do this move, but I have no reason as to why I should do it. Oh my god, why'd I play so fast? I had this! No, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't have that. Oh, actually, maybe, and then winning the center pawn. Okay, I'm taking way too long. I'm just gonna do this move. We're just gonna go with that. It opens up the diagonal for our queen, and I think we're okay-ish on the other side of the board. Very crazy. If we attack the knight, he can just go to d4. And uh, we're not really doing much, but we haven't committed the king yet, so there is these ideas of doing certain things. Okay, he brings the queen closer. Doesn't take. There is this diagonal. Um, interesting. What if we push this pawn? Takes, 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 and we have a way to come in. He could castle, but then his rook doesn't help the attack. I think this is wrong, but I have two minutes left, and I don't see anything else. 
There's also this idea, but that doesn't do anything. So we're just going to do this. Now he could close it. But then we might come here. Okay, he doesn't close it. Do I want to trade? There's this move. I don't really want to trade. Oh, I should play 15 minutes. Is this not a beautiful move? Let's go. Is that not a beautiful move? All right, we, we definitely have to play faster now. Um, I don't want my, you know what? Let's move the king forward. I need to connect everything. I need my queen to have more maneuverability. Something like this, maybe. Not sure. Go here. Play a little faster. I might lose because of time, but I think I was winning after that pawn move. Maybe even pushing this pawn further, but it's stopping the bishop from coming in right now. Oh, we have this move. It doesn't work. Let's just play. I, I don't have time. I did not want to do that, but... Asshole. Let's come here. We have this check. I'm going to blunder something soon. I feel it in my bones. But for now, we're doing okay. This, yeah, I figured that might be a move. <sighs> Can we sack here, here? Let's just go for this. This gives our knight a, a spot to be in. Go for this. Okay. We now have this. Okay, we have 30 seconds. No way. There must be a checkmate here. Are you freaking kidding me? I'm going to go crazy if there isn't. Made it a 1709 rated player and with 14 seconds left. Are you freaking kidding me? Are you kidding me? Jesus Christ, bro. This game just never stops getting so exciting and fun. <laughs> I had four mistakes. Oh, but three inaccuracies. My opponent had eight. Jesus, that must feel like shit losing like that. Oh my God. What a fascinating game, bro. What? Oh, that was crazy. Like, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> was that not insane, guys? Oh, my God. Okay. So, bringing my bishop out was fine. Taking here was the best move. Coming here was worse. So, <sighs> as early as here, I was winning by putting multiple pressure on this pawn, I'm assuming. Because, yeah, computer, just from five seconds of thinking, says this. And already taking the pawn is a possibility. Like, even though you open the bishop, you're up a pawn, right? Makes sense. He didn't take, which allowed me to reorient. And I played the best move coming backwards with my knight. That took me so long to think of, but I figured it out. Because oh. I, I considered everything going forward, m moves going forward, and I didn't see it working. <laughs> I won without castling, too. He attacked my bishop, I just moved it back normally. I made a hole. Now this is interesting. Apparently this move was much better. This closes it off, which is what ended up happening. But I guess the idea here is that if he takes, I'm pinning against the queen. And this like open area is actually not the worst thing in the world. Now I could come in with check if he moves his rook and, and that that's kind of like the idea I was going for, right? Something like this doesn't work because I have all of this probably to do something. Or something else. Okay, it says g5. Okay, so threatening this idea was right. What if he comes here? Kind of protecting everything. 
I can come here. Very interesting. Very interesting stuff. That that would have been a little bit complicated. I'm I'm okay with h6. Um until I realize that this kind of protects his position. No, then I just hide. If he pushes again, I take. He can't take because he loses his bishop. So now he's just down a pawn. Actually down two pawns. <laughs> Yo. And taking with this one was was better than with the C knight in this case. Okay, anyway. That was crazy. Uh, so I closed the position. Apparently, I didn't even need to. There's nothing scary here because after takes, takes, I win the rook. I... No, 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 no. But I, can... I I calculated the bishop taking, and then I... I just didn't like how this looked. Apparently, I could move my queen to the side. And again, I'm winning this pawn, maybe. Like, if he pushes to protect, what do I do? I can come here attacking the rook, which I considered and even mentioned ideas with this. And then I could just kind of slowly kick the bishop out. Oh, and he gets trapped. The bishop actually gets trapped. Wow. Look how unsafe my king looks, though. But I'm, I'm up a piece, essentially. Crazy stuff. Uh, assuming that, you know, my opponent plays all these moves. So here, taking here was fine. Um, I don't know why I didn't take the bishop first. That looks like it makes a lot more sense. Oh, no, 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 no right. Because I wanted to take back like this. So, to, to prevent the pawn from pushing forward. He brought the bishop back, which won me a pawn. Um, oh, this move is better. Targets both of them. But, I mean, whatever. I pushed the other pawn, and here I could have pushed the this pawn. Which I, I didn't see, because I had two minutes left. He took, I took. He didn't go for the trade. Apparently, castling was his best move. I pushed, and I had, I had a feeling I was winning at this point. It took me that long. And here, again, I just didn't like this. I know his rook gets away from the attack. Oh my god, I could have castled. Are you freaking kidding me? But this just looked, this looked weird to me, you know? I, 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 like, how do you progress in this position? I have no idea. Like, I literally could not tell you how to progress in this position. I, I don't understand. Um, apparently, you go for this. No, probably push this forward, yeah? Ah, you just fight on, on, on the right side of the board. Threatening, oh, you're not really threatening that. And he fights in the middle, right? You fight in the middle often when your opponent fights other places. And here you could go e8 because if takes, you're probably harassing the hell out of the king and possibly winning the game. This is my assumption. Checks don't work because I have an escape square. The knight is doing a good job of stopping stuff. Obviously, he doesn't have time to do stuff like that because I could come in with checkmates. Okay. Again, if I had more time, maybe I would have played this differently. I'm not sure. But the queen move was great. Protects the pawn, kind of watches over everything. And I like that I pushed my king forward. I did. I knew this was not a good move. Again, I just did not know what to do. I was really playing off of time. This is interesting. This supports the center, and my king is surprisingly pretty safe. So. And I'm up, at, I'm up two pawns at this point. That's kind of what's helping out a lot, too. Yeah, this was crazy. Oh my god, I played all the best moves here. I mean, maybe it was easy to see. Like, even here, I wasn't sure if I should take back with the knight, but then I'm like, no, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> what? What the hell? Guys, I'm getting excited because I literally played the best move. How many moves in a row? After this pawn move, which I did not like, I knew that my knight coming to the center was super good. I played one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I played nine moves in a row for checkmate that were the best moves. And okay, they were very easy moves to make. Yeah, obviously, but Jesus, that was insane. I played like a 1900. <laughs> if you watched this far, I really do appreciate you guys. And say 1700 in the in the comments below because if at this rate we're gonna get there by the end of the month i, I feel thanks for watching have a great one bye bye